Welcome back, everybody. The U.S. Hot Rod Association brought the six best monster trucks in the entire world to the Civic Center in Providence, Rhode Island. Built a great racetrack and said, have at it, guys. When the smoke cleared after two rounds of racing, four of the big boys were back on the trailer. The other two are preparing for the championship heat. Both trucks are newer models of famous names. Jackie Willman has his new Taurus here. And Dan Runty is driving the latest version of Bigfoot. Now, in the first round, Taurus beat Gravedigger. And Bigfoot was DQ'd for knocking down a course marker. And then in round two, Taurus and Equalizer gave the fans in Providence their money's worth. An outstanding race. And Jackie Willman's moving on to the finals. While Bigfoot came back as the fast loser against Barefoot, Dan Runty kept the big Ford on the track and outdrove Fred Schaefer. So it's Taurus and Bigfoot. Since Taurus has been losing time in the turns, the edge has got to go to Bigfoot, I think. Joe Lowe describes the action in the championship heat here in Providence. Ken, the crowd is on their feet, and they have reason to be. This is going to be one incredible final. Jackie Wilman and Torres going up against Dan Runty and Bigfoot. They both come into the arena, and as you can see, they've been working on the track. That big piece of equipment making sure everything is set for this monster final. Both drivers have been asked to size up the competition going to the championship. First, we speak with Jackie Wilman of Taurus, and he talks about Bigfoot and the competition he has from him tonight. What do you know about Bigfoot? What kind of, uh, what do you have to do to win? Well, their, their truck's about the same as mine. It's kind of hard to go around the corner, so it'll be a good race. Jackie Wellman, the current world champion, and the truck that has never, ever won a U.S. Hot Rod Association World Championship, Bigfoot. Dan Runty has to go against Taurus. Taurus is a tough competitor. The Ford Bigfoot's really been running outstanding. I just have to learn to work with the truck. This is only my third weekend in the truck. Uh, I was driving an old uh, Bigfoot 7. I shouldn't say old, but it was a least spring truck where we're just uh, on nitrogen shocks here, and it's a lot different ride and a lot different learning to drive it. Well, he's been learning here tonight. Dan Runty of Bigfoot. He started out knocking over the turn pole, came back as the fastest loser, and finds himself in the championship against the world champion Taurus. There they go. Dan even going into turn number one. Bigfoot whips it around. Taurus battles, loses a few feet to him. On the turn, the final turn. Bigfoot with the lead. Bigfoot wins it. Bigfoot wins it. He came back from behind. He knocked down the turn pole early on, but Bigfoot, a little luck and a lot of skill, Dan Runty takes the Bigfoot monster truck to a championship in Providence, Rhode Island. He has certainly learned to maneuver these turns. Look at this young man go. Whips it right around. The rear end does not come around this time. A near picture-perfect ride for Bigfoot in Providence. On the finish line, the camera shows you what it's all about. Bigfoot over as Torres just barely approaches the car. Your winner in Providence, Rhode Island, Bigfoot and Dan Runty getting a big hug from his crew. He is one happy camper. And as they say, the agony of defeat, Jackie Wilman suffering that right now in Torres. Tough break for him. Jackie Wilman, he was doing great. Had a great run going for him. But again, the turns were too much. Gave it his best shot as the world champion. He knew everything was resting on him, a lot of pressure on him. He just slid around, had problems on that turn, and it just wasn't the night for Torres to win. Again, Bigfoot's your winner, and Providence in the Civic Center, and the first win for a young man from St. Louis, Missouri, Dan Runty, and Bigfoot, his first professional win. What's running through your mind right now? I'm happy. I'm really happy. I couldn't be any more happier. Talk about the final run. Uh, it, basically the same as one before, you know, as far as Kenny and those guys, they kept telling me, keep making the same runs you've been making. Make the corners tight because you're going to slide in the corners because it is slippery. Whether you feel it or not in the truck, you are sliding. I'm happy the Ford Bigfoot did good. It's going to be a lot of wins for you down the line, Dan, but uh, this one I guess you'll always remember as number one. You're exactly right. I will.
I just, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Well, I know what to say. Congratulations, Dan Runty. You are the champion at Providence on this round of the U.S. Hot Rod Association's Monster Truck Challenge. Let's take another look at Jackie Willman after the race. Oh, man, does that shot say it all? Chin up, Jackie. Better days ahead. As defending world champion, he has to take everybody's best shot. And this time it was Dan Runty who had the better day. Well, don't go away. The U.S. HRA's Monster Truck Challenge will have more roundy round racing coming up when we come back. Next up, highlights from Oklahoma City. Welcome back to the U.S. Hot Rod Association's Monster Truck Challenge here on ESPN, the Total Sports Network. I'm Ken Brew. What do you say we dip into the uh, mailbag from our viewers? Alert viewer Gabriel Lopez of Houston, Texas writes and wants to know if the U.S. Hot Rod Association still sponsors competition among monster trucks that aren't quite as famous as our six best monster trucks in the entire world. Gabriel, the answer is yes. USHRA fans in Oklahoma City got to see such an event. Alert viewer Laura Clemens of Soddy Daisy, Tennessee writes to say she loves the six big boys we feature here on Monster Truck Challenge. But she asks if we can show some different monsters doing their thing. Hey, Laura, just for you. We're happy to show you some fresh faces from time to time, like right now. The scene is the State Fairgrounds Arena in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Joe Lowe has the highlights. Uh, Ken, these fans are excited. They have reason to be. Roundy round racing, just like you saw in Providence, featuring some of the great up-and-comers of the U.S. Hot Rod Association. Names like Barely Tame with Doug Stanger aboard. Jim Thomas and the Master of Disaster. The Auto Value King Crunch and Rob Grossman. And the Auto Value Racer with Scott Stevens aboard. These are some names you'll be hearing in the future of the U.S. Hot Rod Association programs. And when all is said and done, and we brought them down to the final two, they were Doug Spanier, barely team, out of Albany, Minnesota. And going against him, Rob Grossman and the King Crunch out of Spring, Texas. So the Battle of North and South, there they go, roundy round racing. Barely team and Auto Values King Crunch on the turn. Barely tame, up and away. A Ford Chevy matchup. And your winner, Barely Tame. Doug Spanier takes the Barely Tame Ford around the track. Just an incredible job of driving. And Doug Spanier is in the winner's circle in Oklahoma City. Every run I made, the course kept getting better and better. I had this thing down on the science and I was whipping this thing around third gear all the way. Uh, that's why I thought I got an advantage starting on the yellow lane here because this thing's smooth. You're not catching any air, and I figured I had the corner to catch him already. So by the time I got over the blue lane, I already knew I had the race. But I'd like to say, yeah, if you're catching a little bit of air off coming off the first car there, and your nose diving a little bit about the fifth car, and that's causing the front end to pop a little bit. So I took a little bit easy on the blue lane. So I'd be straight coming off of there, and I come into the corner, and I seen him coming off this set of cars and knew I had it. There you have it, some great racing action from Oklahoma City. And congratulations to Doug Spanier, who drove barely tame or around the track and right into the winner's circle. We'll be back to wrap things up here on the U.S. Hot Rod Association's Monster Truck Challenge in just a moment.